Dear students, now we will try to see what are the essential things that you need to know about dynamic programming before we delve into the dynamic programming itself. So as I just mentioned, why do we need dynamic programming? That question needs to be clarified in your minds before we employ and understand dynamic programming. The fundamental reason underpinning this question is that the comparison of two sequences is a very expensive, computationally expensive process. For instance, if you have two nucleotide sequences that are, uh, uh, let's say, 10,000 bases in length, then comparison of these 10,000 bases with another sequence of another 10,000 bases is going to take a lot of time on your computer to be aligned. Therefore, dynamic programming becomes important because it does the same problem, it solves the problem in a very short span of time. As an example, let's compare A and B. So let's assume that we are trying to compare two strings, in this case, A and B. So how many comparisons do you need to make to compare these two? strings. So obviously you only need to make one comparison that is if A is equal to B or not. In this case A is not equal to B so your one comparison can help you decide the alignment between these two strings. But let's consider another case where the first string has been extended to include two characters while the second string, which is to be compared with the first one, also includes a couple of characters. So let's see which combinations will be formed and how many computer operations that you need to do to compare these two strings. So the first thing that you would want to do is write the two strings. So obviously A does not match with B and B does not match with C. Okay. So, how many operations have you performed? Two comparisons. One and two. Okay. Now, if we are to compare these sequences again, we need to slide them across each other. A, B and B, C. So I have shifted this sequence to the right side by one character. So here of course you get a match again. So that's another comparison. So you got one comparison done and in all you have compared two things by now. Okay. Now if you want to compare these two strings then there is a third method as well in which A, B can be compared with B and C. In this way, you need to compare these two characters again and you don't have a match. So there are three total ways in which you can compare A, B and B, C. But if the number of characters in each string increases, as is the case with A, B, C, and D, E, F. So you continuously need to align these sequences like that or like that. So you already have one, two, and three comparisons here, but there can be another situation where DEF needs to be shifted to the other side and you will get two more comparisons. So there are three here, please remember, and
two here. So in all five comparisons. So how do you deal with this? So if the string was just one, you had one comparison. If the string were of length two, you had three comparisons. If the string were of length three, you had five comparisons and so on. So this combination size continues to grow exponentially like that. So as your sequence length increases, the number of operations that you need to do climbs very sharply. Therefore, you need a technique which helps you to reduce this problem into a smaller problem. So this is actually called order of the algorithm and in that you need to calculate the steps that are there in the algorithm while comparing the strings. If you have two strings which have length n, then the order of the algorithm is considered to be n squared. It is written as order o and n squared like that. So here I have shown you the dot plot now which is modified and the matches have been indicated by 1 and the mismatches have been indicated by minus 1. So in conclusion, the sequence comparison is a costly process and dynamic programming allows you to undertake this process in an efficient and short amount of time. We will also see how to employ dynamic programming but before that you need to understand what is the importance and usefulness of dynamic programming.